Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do a, a micron pen and watercolour picture of a pair of beautiful little antelope. So I found this picture on Pixabay and I've always loved antelope and deer and anything like that. I just absolutely love them. They're so graceful and beautiful. So I thought I would do a picture of a pair of them for you guys today. So I'm using my Sennelia watercolours and I'm going in now and just drawing in the outlines just to get an idea of um, the proportions and if I can get them in the correct position. So it's going pretty well with my mechanical pencil. So I'm quite happy with how it's going at this point. So I'll just now I'll go in with my Micron pen and I'm using a 003. So it's the smallest uh, Micron pen you can get just to do a very fine outline over my pencil drawing. And I'll keep that, take that right around, all around both of the little antelope. So I'll just pop the details in around the belly and the back legs. Okie doke. Now I can rub out my pencil because I'm happy with the drawing. And now they've got little black sort of lines along their face from their eye to their muzzle and, and they've got very dark inner ears so I'm colouring those in with my 003 micron pen just to get the darkest darks on these little guys take that down that one's nose and now I'm going to mix up some watercolour so I'm going to go in with the both antelope they're just going to have their base colour is going to be raw sienna, just a very wet wash of raw sienna. So I've watered it down really a lot. And I'll just take that over everywhere that's got the goldy colour on their coats. So then I've gone in with a slightly thicker mix of it, of, of the raw sienna. And then as you see here, I'm popping in a little bit of burnt sienna because they've got a little dark tinge just around the top line of their back and just above the white on their belly. So I've now I've made up a grey um we i've actually used Payne's gray i've just diluted it right down and used it for the white on their coat because a lot of the white's in shadow and i take that under the very very bottom of their underbelly and the shadow sides of their back leg and front leg and now i do exactly the same for the second antelope so i go in again with the raw sienna and a slightly thicker consistency just around the the lines and then i add again some um burnt sienna just on the very brownest parts of their body lines and then I go into this one with the grey as well a very diluted mix and take that into all the shadowy areas then I add a little bit of green for the grass so I've mixed up cobalt blue and yellow ochre to make this grass colour because it's sort of a browny greeny grass and then I just go in with some final dark shadows with the Payne's Grey again, just a slightly thicker mix of it. And we're just about done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed painting these for you guys. And I shall see you all for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.